Life is too short for negativity and toxicity. And although it's impossible to get rid of all the stress in our lives, I've identified five areas in which we can reduce our stress and reduce our negativity, leading to more productive days and, of course, happier days. Hello and welcome to The Pantry. Today's post is quite personal for me anyway and perhaps personal for you. If you are finding areas of your life filled with negativity and toxicity, I was recently having a conversation with a friend of mine who actually removed a, quite a toxic habit from her day. And the smile on her face, she's just so much happier now that she has taken action and removed that from her life. And you can read a little bit about her story in my blog post on this topic, which you can find uh, below this video. But I wanted to address five areas of our lives that potentially we can take action to remove the negativity and toxicity and of course then leading to better productivity, more happiness and just overall a better quality of living. Area number one and not surprising one of the largest is our work satisfaction. I'm continually surprised at the amount of people I meet who are just not happy in their work situation but do feel powerless to do anything about it. Be it lack of time, lack of confidence, lack of money to make a switch, and it's robbing them of their true potential. So if you find yourself feeling like Eeyore every time you go to work every single day, take a health day, take a mental health day, and really look at your work situation. Perhaps it's just a, a way of maybe identifying what strengths you possess and veering your current career or finding a new career in that direction. And you can find ways to identify your strengths in the video and blog post above. So I encourage you to do that uh, because we spend so much time at work every day that for you to feel completely fatigued and completely defeated at work is just going to rob you of your daily happiness. Area number two is hobbies and interests. This one is very personal to me because I spent a lot of years ignoring my hobbies and interests uh, in the interest of taking care of my family and taking care of my career. I did enjoy my job and of course I enjoy my family time. Um, but I kind of forgot who I was for a number of years. So getting back to some of my hobbies and interests has, I suppose, helped all the other areas of my life. I do feel a lot more balanced at work and a lot less stressed at work when I can lean on my hobbies in the evening or on the weekends. Uh, and of course my family is happier because I'm a lot happier around the home when I'm doing things that I enjoy to do. Now, ironically, a lot of my hobbies actually produce something tangible. That's the achiever strength in me. So right now I'm doing a lot of canning and creating a lot of jams and jellies. Uh, my salsa is amazing. And so my family's able to enjoy that. And to, so together as a family, we're able to share in the gardening and of course share in the fruits of my labor and the fruits of my hobbies. So if you find yourself running out of time to do things that you really enjoy doing, maybe Maybe take a step back and look at ways of infusing your hobbies into your week and that will definitely help with ridding your life of some unnecessary ne negativity. Area number three is meditation. Now I am not an expert in this area and in fact I'm struggling with this myself. So hopefully me talking to you will be a reminder for me that I need to do a better job of meditating. But the health benefits of meditation are astounding. And you'd be hard pressed to find someone who has studied meditation and does not find value in the 10 or 15 minutes that you spend every morning centering in on yourself and centering in on your day. So if you have not tried meditation, I encourage you to take a look at it. If you go again over to my blog post, I've included a link to an app that you can download on your phone, um, which is a really simple and a very soothing 10 minute meditation each morning. But give meditation a try. I'm going to be talking a lot more, more about meditation and the benefits of meditation in the months ahead. So stick around if you want to learn a little bit more with me.
Area number four is exercise and diet. So just like meditation is there to clear your mind and prepare your mind for the day, so does exercise and diet as you go through your day. So diet, of course, is filling your daily intake of foods with things that are healthy, things that are going to feed your mind and fuel your body in the right ways and cutting out foods that are going to drain you of energy, like those refined sugars, uh, those chocolate treats. Um, so you wanna fuel your body with the right kinds of foods, and then of course use your body to get some exercise. Once again, I'm hard pressed to find a place that says exercise drains you of energy. Exercise does infuse your day with energy, unless you're running an ultra marathon this morning, then granted, take a nap this afternoon, be my guest. Uh, but if you can get a half hour run in or a quick trip to the gym, I think you're going to set yourself up for success and obviously a lot of positivity and happiness along the way. And lastly, area number five are your friends and the people that you surround yourself with. It's really difficult to stay positive and rid your life of negativity when you are surrounding yourself with people of that mindset. We all go through times where we need to lean on one another for support, but the friends you surround yourself with should have a great balance of positive energy to bring to you as well. So if you find you're surrounding yourself with a bunch of Eeyores again, who tend to have a negative outlook on life and tend to be resistant to wanting to change their situation, you may want to find some other people to surround yourself with. It may not mean having to get rid of any particular friend, but you certainly want some positive influences in your life because that will feed your own positivity and decrease your toxicity. As I mentioned, it's impossible to rid our lives completely of stress-inducing moments, but by working on these five areas, perhaps you can get rid of some of the negativity and infuse your life with more positive moments as well. Thanks for joining me today on this uh, somewhat of a personal journey and a personal post, but you can find other posts that re relate to productivity and to better sales techniques over at my blog at productivitypantry.com. There you can also subscribe to my newsletter so you never miss a post on how to better your career if you are in a sales environment. Thanks for joining me today and have a great week. Bye for now.